Hey everyone, I'm Aria and this is an exciting video for me because I just recently passed the one year anniversary of when I decided to start posting Blender simulations to my channel every week. So I decided that instead of creating a simulation this week that I would create a collage of some of my favorite simulations and in a way pay homage to the biggest thing in the art world right now which is NFTs. Which kind of got me wondering if you could make a decent living selling artwork that you've made with Blender. It seems like everyone's talking about NFTs so I decided to take a look at it myself and that's what today's video is about. And don't worry, I'm gonna keep creating simulation tutorials. Like always, I just wanted to step aside and sort of tell you what I've been up to. These of course won't replace any of my other simulations or tutorials. This would be an addition to my current content so it'd be an extra video. So just before we get started, I just want to point out that I am not an expert on this and I am in no way giving financial advice. This is just more if you're curious about NFTs. So what is an NFT? Well, first of all, let's find out what it stands for. So NFT stands for non-fungible token, which in and of itself can be a little bit confusing, but I think it might help to find out what the word fungible means in the first place. So if we look at something that is fungible, we can take money for example, so if I have two $5 bills and you have a $10 bill, then those two things are fungible. So even if inflation goes up and down, those two $5 bills are always going to be equal to a $10 bill, which makes them fungible. So an example of a fungible token could be money and other things such as gold or even Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then of course the reverse of that is a non-fungible token which in the case of artwork would mean something that is simply a one-off that basically gets linked to your artwork that identifies it as the original and the only one. You can sell multiples of NFTs as well which of course you could have say a limit of like 60 or 100 or something like that but each one would have its own unique signature and live on the blockchain as its own image, while greatly reducing the probability of fraud since it has to be verified by multiple systems. And as soon as you create an item, it becomes an NFT. So people can use things like Bitcoin or Ethereum or other types of cryptocurrency to purchase this artwork, which basically is an NFT in itself and that gets recorded on the blockchain which establishes the ownership of the purchaser. Which is in part why this is so popular, because again, there's no possibility of copying these things even if you take a screenshot or download the image or video, the original will still be verified on the blockchain and be connected to the owner which makes it very valuable. In the same way that when you take a picture of a piece of valuable artwork, it really doesn't have the same value that the original piece does. And this is a way to guarantee that ownership for digital works. If you know anything about cryptocurrencies, I'm sure you've heard of Bitcoin or Ethereum, which are two of the more popular cryptocurrencies, but also differ a little bit from each other. And in the case of NFTs, for the most part, you're going to be buying Ethereum. Of course, if you have Bitcoin or cash, you can always use those to buy Ethereum as well. Now that we've got a little bit of an overview, where can we find this artwork, where are these sites, and what's the best way to get access to those places? There are tons of different websites that you can go to. I'm going to leave a list in the description just of some links that you can check out, but make sure you do some research on them because I know that some of the ones that are less curated have a few more copyright issues so just keep that in mind but there are some great sites out there so one that you can start with as a beginner is called OpenSea and if you go to their website you'll see that they're the largest NFT marketplace and one of the major advantages to this is you can just sign up regardless of who you are you don't need to apply or anything like that you can just sign up and start working with them then just like any other website you can browse through all of their artwork one of the websites that I'm trying is called Maker's Place and this is a little bit more curated in the sense that you do need to apply so if you do have some artwork online like ArtStation or a YouTube channel or something like that. The same is true for Nifty Gateway. If you just go down on their main page here, you can see that they've got a link here if you're interested in creating your own Nifties. You can become a creator here so check that out but you will need to answer some questions as well. 
And I've heard that places like this that are curated are a little bit better just because they protect your work a little bit more. Something that you're probably wondering as well is if you do sell artwork on one of these websites and then the person that owns it sells it sometime later for a much larger amount, is it worth it? And for some of these sites, the answer is yes because they do offer some type of commission. So if you sell a piece of work and it gets resold, you make a portion of that resale. And as well, in certain cases, you can decide which person to charge that fee to. So you could charge it to the person that's selling your item or the person that's purchasing the item. As well, on places like OpenSea, you can also have things like a bounty. So if you are not an artist, but you know how to connect people, you can refer NFTs to different buyers and get a commission for that. So there's a lot of ways to make money from all areas. As well, keep in mind that because there are so many sites, it's hard to say what each site does. They all handle their sales differently. So the advantage of that is if you sell artwork right now and you're not that well known, but then eventually you start to become well known, your work could become worth a lot more. And you don't have to worry about the resale value since you'll be receiving a perpetual royalty forever. Okay, so let's say that you do want to get involved, but you're not really sure what to do. One of the first things that you are going to need to do is get some type of wallet to hold your Bitcoin and Ethereum in. For OpenSea, they will ask you to get some type of wallet, so I got this one called MetaMask. I'm not endorsing this in any way, it just seemed like the one that was the most useful to me, just because it has applications for Android, iPhone, and desktop. This is free and it's completely web-based, so there's no fee to sign up either, whereas some of them will have a initial fee. Then the very final thing that I wanted to talk about was something that's referred to as gas prices. And basically what I understand is this is just a price that you have to pay to add your transaction to the blockchain. And again, uh, like I said, this is more just of an overview, so I don't want to get too deep into this because it can get very confusing very quickly. But it is nice to be able to understand what you're getting yourself into and how it all works. I know that this was a little bit different this week from what I normally do and don't worry, I'm going to keep creating simulation tutorials. Like always, I just wanted to step aside and sort of bring you into my world a little bit more and just kind of tell you what I've been up to. So let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to do more like this, let me know. As well, let me know if you're interested in NFTs or Bitcoin or Ethereum or anything like that at all. By the way, I'm very excited for next week because I'm also going to be releasing a tutorial on how I create all the audio for my animations. I've had quite a few people ask me to do this for a long time. So I just want to make sure that I do this and give you a little bit of insight on how I create my sounds, where I get my sounds. And then as well, I'm going to have news as well for Patreon regarding sound effects as well. I'm going to start uploading sound packs as often as I can, just so that everybody has the same resources as I do and you can create some amazing artwork as well. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And as well, if you're able to make a donation or you want to support the growth of this channel, then just head over to my Patreon page and sign up to become a member. I'll see you soon. Bye!